SMSL is back and they have released a new DAC. This is the raw DAC one. Uh, this is a very uh, expensive DAC to an extent, but not like the uh, top of the line DAC. This is still a expensive, reasonably well priced DAC because it's five hundred dollars just to buy this DAC alone. That's not even like adding the amplifier, which I'll get to. That's a separate, uh, you know, release on its own. Now, this new raw DAC one has a lot of support that will interest a lot of audio files. You get MQA support. You get uh, dual different DACs inside here that helps with the audio performance. You get the AKM chipsets that would um, help this be one of the best DACs you can work with at the moment you are, you are getting the AK4191 chipset inside as well as the AK AKM4499 EX chipsets so this is what you get you also have Bluetooth 5.1 support inside you have LDAC support it has a fully fitted LCD screen uh you get uh USB Exynos uh xu 316 support it is a very powerful DAC in many respects because it's versatile it's going to be able to work with any uh amplifier out there you know for your headphones for your iems it's going to be that good uh it supports high res audio up to 32 bit 768 kilohertz um it has dsd 512 support it's um it's powerful it, it's literally a powerful DAC it's not it's not gonna be on the same level as like uh, DACs that are well over a thousand dollars in terms of uh, features but it's still good enough it has an LCD screen to show you what you basically just show you exactly what you have set the DAC to do uh, and whatever content you're playing through that DAC it will give you everything with the 2.33 inch display uh now in terms of uh the chassis the chassis is well made and at the back you have a lot of high quality gold plated input and output terminals it's just fantastic and it comes with a remote control that's another thing i i will have to highlight because uh, a lot of people will want a DAC they can control not just what they they have to be touching the machine to to get it to do something they want so you get a remote control out of the box which is good you get you get xlr outputs you get one optical input um you get a usb uh, usb input you also have optical um uh, another optical input as well at the back you get bluetooth support um you get an RC output, you get RC output, uh, and and it's just a decent product in many respects. It doesn't consume a lot of power, just takes around 10 watts of power. Uh, maybe it could have come with the latest Bluetooth standard, but it didn't come with the latest Bluetooth standard. Uh, that, that Bluetooth 5.1 is still good, but they could have done a lot better than this. Uh, other than that, I'll drop details down below for you guys to see if you're interested in the SMSL rod. DAC one it's available now so do check it out subscribe to the channel do like our content i'll see you guys very much next time